Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Adeze and you guys know who this is. So this is my mom and she has come back you know to the channel and i'm very very happy to have her here hello <laughs> hello everyone okay <laughs> i'm happy to be here first of all i must say thank you for your comments on the last interview yeah i was surprised you know mm -hmm. i said it here that i i never liked youtube, YouTube yeah <laughs> but, but after after that interview i i, I was encouraged mm -hmm. i liked it and particularly to a girl that sent money uh, to my ministry. Yeah, yes, yes to prison's yes. ministry. Prison's ministry. I just said something about prisons in passing. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that letter call to say the girl said, although she didn't want us to acknowledge, come, acknowledge it, but I want to say that mm -hmm. your labor of love, my daughter, your labor of love will never go unrewarded. Amen. God will reward it. Amen. I quite appreciate it. Yeah. At that prison's ministry, incidentally, uh, during the last uh, award we had in our ministry, we got second in the special uh, outreach uh, uh, ministries. Mm -hmm. We got second and uh, we are so grateful to God because we didn't know we did much, mm -hmm. but thank God. Yeah. Okay, I did a story time where I talked about my younger brother who was diagnosed with autism, that is of the autism spectrum. and. A lot of questions came in the comment section about, you know, my mom's experience, about her experience, you know, growing up with a sibling or a child that had autism, okay? So I decided that we're going to do like a Q&A to answer all your questions. Are you ready? Yes, of course. <laughs> How did you find out your son had autism? How was the diagnosis process? How have you been able to integrate him well into Nigerian society with the lack of awareness of autism in Nigeria? Well, I did not find out on time. Until the boy was 14 years old. Yeah. 14. Yeah. You can imagine, now, now he's 28. He's going to 29 in November. Yeah. In November 11th, he's 28. Then, you know, children with autism, they were few. That was my first time of hearing the name autism. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I never heard. I never mm. heard. Mm. You know, the, the, um, if I may start from how he was born. Yeah. At an early age, at early stage of my pregnancy, I, I had, uh, when I, exactly two months or so, I had rashes all over my body. Mm. I went to the doctor because I read in one book, every, every woman, mm. that if you have... Uh, measles at an early stage of pregnancy, mm. the baby should be removed. I went to the doctor, but incidentally, the doctor said it was not measles. measles. So that was how I went home. And the next day, it disappeared as if it was not measles. Mm -hmm. You know? So I carried on with the pregnancy. Mm. And, and incidentally, that was the easiest labor mm. among all my children. The easiest labor. I, I, in fact, I don't know what to say, but mm. God knows. The easiest, most peaceful. I was so happy. Mm -hmm. after, so after giving birth to the boy, I was happy. After three days, my husband was on course in London. You know, he was working in the bank then, no time and all that. He was in, uh, on course, so he was not at home. After three days, we rushed back to the hospital because the, but the child was breathing somehow. Mm. That was the start of, our, of the whole thing, mm -hmm. the starting, yes. When we went back to the hospital, they now called in a specialist, a pediatrician from Luth. I was in Lagos. They called in a pediatrician and the pediatrician recommended so, something for us. Mm. By two days, the pediatrician came back only for us to find out that the injection we were giving the boy was for, for an adult, older person, yeah. for an adult. And we were just, I was looking. That's the injection the, the hospital was giving him. The injection yes. they were giving him. The doctor came and said, who are you giving this injection? I hope it's this, not, not, not this small baby. Two new, days. Newborn. Two days. I hope it's not this, uh, this new baby. They said, the nurse said, yes, it's the, it's the baby. Uh, the doctor was down. You uh, better stop this injection. That was how they stopped it. I didn't talk, I was just looking. Mm -hmm. And nothing was done again. So, before we knew it, 
That was how we started carrying the boy because he was breathing somehow. Mm. He was breathing all over Lagos. We first of all went to uh, uh, the one inside the uh, uh, Victoria, uh, no, Lagos Island. They called it Massey Hospital for children. Mm. In fact, that was how where I saw how babies, you know, were dying, and they would put them in a, a carton. That was how I knew that they buried babies with carton. You know, <laughs> we were newly born again, but the and you know I was looking at my boy and, and I was pitying him. I said, well. No, it's cut on they will use and bury you, not even coffin, not a decent mm -hmm. burial. Because you'll be the third person to die. As I was saying, all of a sudden I said, but I'm born again. That was the year I got born again, 1991. Mm -hmm. so, but I had him in 1992. I said, but I say I'm born again. I, mm -hmm. You won't die here in the name of Jesus. You won't die. You won't die. And the boys started breathing well. And to worsen the whole situation, they, they put an uh, empty oxygen, empty oxygen. oxygen cylinder. Yeah. Yeah. The, the oxygen cylinder was all, uh, empty, I didn't know, until somebody passed and said, well, th there's nothing in this oxygen. It was even obstructing the boy from breathing. From breathing, yeah. So they removed it, they referred us back to Luth. And the, you know the first profession that I saw him, that I saw him was from Luth. Mm. So they referred us back. When they referred us, I, I now remember, and my husband said no. When we got to Luth, we met the same man. They shared us into rooms, mm -hmm. only for us to find ourselves inside uh, the room that belonged to that same man that mm -hmm. recommended uh, the injection. injection. So my husband said, okay, that we will come back. He did not touch the baby. When we left, we decided to go to Newe Anambra. Because my younger sister was talking to me about a pediatrician at Newi, Dr. Lassen, mm. that I should go and say, I said, in this Lagos, and then banker was paying. Mm. But my husband, was, my husband was the chief inspector of their bank. So they were paying bills. I said, why should I leave Lagos and go back to Anambra for medical mm. uh, 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 treatment, treatment yeah. with a small baby? I refused. What? Huh. When we saw the same man that could not do anything, mm. <laughs> so we decided let's go and, and see this doctor at Newi, and that saved us a lot. In fact, the moment we got to Newi, I saw the, uh, the young uh, the young doctor. Mm. The doctor came and looked and said, "What? What? Are, what did they do to this baby?" His hair was scraped. Very fine boy. Very mm -hmm. handsome boy. Yeah. His hair was scraped. You see patches. They will put injection. They uh, they were putting needle to to give him water. Mm. You know they said they want through to the put uh, through the head. They will not see uh, the, the uh, they will not see how to put put to water. Mm. Eh? They will throw the dad needle away. Mother, go and buy another needle. I will run and go and buy another needle outside. That's what I was doing. So when the doctor saw it, they also said, "Who did all this to this baby?" Then anyway, Madam, don't worry. We will see what we will do with this baby. He now brought that, uh, he now brought a plastic needle. That was mm -hmm. where I saw a plastic needle for babies for the first time. He brought a plastic needle. He did not do, even do it to, uh, twice. He just brought something like a small a small uh, slit. Mm -hmm. They used uh, 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 plaster mm -hmm. to hold the baby's hand on the on the on the slit. slit. And now only two, only once put the needle and water started going because at that time the, the center of the head had gone inside. So cool. The boy was not breathing well, he was going in. Hey! So, hmm. well, by the I, I thank God. By two days, this boy opened his eyes and started raising, raising that slit, started mm. raising his hand. I was surprised, but thank God. It was there that the doctor now said, apart from rubella syndrome, I had another name. They said, mm. uh, as a result of that measles, I said, I, I, well, the, the doctor that saw me when I was pregnant with him did not call it measles. Then the doctor said, well, that the, it was measles that, uh, 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 apart from the rubella syndrome, that the boy had hole in the heart. He mm. had cataracts in the right eye. Mm. And hole in the heart. Hey, then they, they, they now told us how much we will use and travel abroad and all those to go and do. Hmm. But the boy, the man said, "Let us hold on first. 
that there's a place at Enugu where he can refer us to one Dr. Gaji that, he, uh, that does uh, heart surgery, mm. that we may go there. That was it. We didn't go. After some days, after some months, we went back to the doctor and the doctor said the hole had closed. Mm. Then remaining only stool. This boy stood for four months without stopping. After that four months, you know, he became well. Mm. It was at the point that the doctor saw him that he became well. And the doctor now said something that is still affecting him up to the up to today. Up to date. The doctor said, Madam, you see this baby, all the sicknesses, all the things that will happen to him that they have already happened. That the only thing that will happen now is that when his mates are sitting, he may be lying down. When his mates are, are running, he may be sitting. Mm. But definitely that this boy will be okay. Madam, he will not be ill. And I had that and I caught it. I held on to it. I will not be ill again. That was how I took my baby back to Lagos and we continued. But as he was growing, you know, ignorance, something you did not know. Yeah. Something, it's not like now that, Niger that, uh, that in Nigeria you have so many specialists, you mm -hmm. have so many. Um, um, a special hospital, a special mm -hmm. schools and all that. internet. Internet. Mm -hmm. no, nothing. We didn't know anything. We were carrying on. And he did not work until almost three years. Mm -hmm. He was not working. Mm -hmm. Until almost three years. A pastor. A pastor in Abuja then because we had to move to Abuja. A pastor came and used anointing oil to rub on the legs, prayed for him. After one week, he got up. And when I go to the hospital, they are like, eh, why is he walking? I said, eh, he, he's walking now. He's, saying, he's not supposed to walk. Do you blame them? It's what they read. Even that cataract, they said that he was supposed to have cataract in the two so eyes. eyes yeah. Why one? Hey, okay, maybe later the, cat, the second one will come out. And then the second one never came out and it will not come out again. Amen. So, that's my journey. Yeah. If I may say that in a and I, and I remember, I remember that his hair was was light brown at some point. Okay. Can you remember when we were younger? Uh -huh. His hair was not black. I remember his hair was <laughs> light brown at some point. He was not healthy. He was not yeah. He was not healthy. This boy for four months we tested all the milk. Mm -hmm. No breast milk. No, he anyone he he, he took in he will mm -hmm. he will pass out. And they didn't check his intestines or anything. Uh, well, hey, okay. There was this doctor that we went to. The doctor was saying that they may have to operate on him, or maybe from the intestine, maybe. And that helped us. Thank God he did, he did not operate because it, there was nothing wrong with the intestine. It wasn't mm. the intestine. Only God knows. Mm. So that operation was not carried out because they were trying to find out why he was not absorbing the milk the he milk. was taking. Mm. That was about rubella syndrome. Yeah. That was how I, about, I had about rubella syndrome. And mm. there we... we <laughs> and it wasn't long. After carrying him from hospital to hospital, uh, the, the father resigned from his job. Mm. He resigned. He had so many mm. issues that made him to just resign. He just started this audit firm. I joined started. I resigned my job. Mm. And to tell you, if I tell you that... If you know how much this autism, autism syndrome, you how much it costs for people to take their children to school, good school. Mm -hmm. If you want a good school for your child, if you want to really take care of autism, you have to spend money. Yeah. Even their diet. Yeah, a lot of money. It was recently I had that their diet. Mm -hmm. The diet helps. Yeah. That's why I tell people, and they say the, the major, the major uh, uh, cure now is early intervention. intervention. Yeah. When your child is from five years, mm -hmm. if you are able to find out from five years, mm -hmm. then early intervention with yeah. diet, mm -hmm. it's, it's giving the child the right diet. The child basically, will speak basically well. keto diet. Keto, yes. Yes, basically the, keto. The child will, will, you know, the child will talk. Mm -hmm. The child will do a lot of things. Yeah. But this one was not. I didn't even hear autism until fourteen yes, years. Yes, yeah. And even I remember that even at that fourteen years, yes. they were not sure. They were not sure. They were saying it's like it seems like it seems <laughs> like they were not even sure. It wasn't like okay, this is exactly what yes. was wrong. Yes, yeah. they were not sure. Mm -hmm. They were not even food for the food to give him. To them, give him, yeah. Nobody told us mm -hmm. anything. 
Minara, I will buy a bottle of Minara, I will drink and give him, he will mm -hmm. drink. They were not sure. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> this our journey so far has been wonderful. Because God has always been there. That's why in our last interview, you know, I, I call God, mm. God, God follows me the way I am. So God has always been there. How we are able to manage this boy with the other children going to mm. school and all that up to now is what we, I cannot even, even tell. Mm. Although at a point I had to go and I, I went to the market to sell provisions to help my husband. It was not easy. No help from anywhere. Let's, let's answer other questions okay. first. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this one is going back to that uh, story. How did you feel the day okay. Ada broke the news that she couldn't find her brother? How did you think? Uh, it? Hmm. <laughs> hey. Oh. That's why I still, it, it was even God. Yeah, it was God, yeah. Angels, I, I, I believe. Mm -hmm. You know, Ada did not bring out some things. Mm -hmm. Ada did not say it well. She didn't remember some things. Mm -hmm. The poor girl, she was looking for admission when this thing happened. She told me she prayed. Mommy, do you know I was praying? Telling God that instead of, us, instead of me not to see this boy, let me not go to any school. Mm, I remember. As in, now, like, remember. when you reminded me, I remember that, yes. I remember on the, on the road, let though, me, let I me, was praying, I was crying, I was just telling God. Let me not go to school. <laughs> right. That area, in fact, all this, this interview we are doing now is like I'm recording, recording, remembering, a lot of things. remembering things that happened so far that I have tried to suppress, mm -hmm. things I have tried to forget so that I will live a better life. Mm -hmm. That school was not good at Mojibwe Johnson. Mm -hmm. You know, no need to call their name, mm -hmm. what, what, they did, what they did to this girl, what they did to my family, not just like that. If you, if you know Orile well, when you get to Orile, you stop mm -hmm. on the right. Then you, you cross, cross to the, the other side. Express. So. Express and enter. Modukwe Johnson. Mm -hmm. uh, is, is this Modukwe Johnson or I'll, something? I'll be at the new, uh, at, uh, uh, I, I don't know for mm -hmm. them. I can't, have not if, I, I can't so, even yeah. remember how we were going. It was not easy. From first side. Mm -hmm. So you cross to the other side. Enter. One bus. Mm -hmm. When you get to Adeni uh, 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 you stop. Uh, uh, you, start, you stop at the, uh, at the street or something. Yeah. You come down and, and you walk, and inside. walk inside. How did this boy get to school? To school. And he wasn't wearing uniform. That he wasn't wearing uniform. uniform, yes. And that did not say that. Mm. So you can't use this one to trace where he's coming from. Yeah. This is a boy that doesn't talk. Mm -hmm. A boy that doesn't know any, anything. Mm -hmm. At the age of that 14, we are still, he was still trying to say some things, yes. but he was not fluent. Mm -hmm. How can that boy describe? How can the boy tell you where he's going to? Mm -hmm. No. So how did he get to get school? To school. They didn't tell us so. So we, 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 when we got to relay and was looking, and then it's not good for somebody to look for a child. Yeah, I was looking for him everywhere. Everywhere. In fact, when my husband said, "Let's go home," after reporting to police, I said, "Who is going home? Mm -hmm. I can't go home without my son." My husband left me there. I didn't. I didn't go with him. It was later I, le I left. I went home. At that too. At that. At that. You know. Slim down over overnight. That afternoon, yeah. afternoon, afternoon, that became so 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 slim mm -hmm. because he she did not have peace. Mm -hmm. So we now went home after everything. I was just sitting looking until evening. Evening, no. Hey, they now called my husband. Eh, eh Miss Ambebu, who is supposed to come and uh, take Chima? My husband said, to Chima, is Chima in your school? They said yes. Why didn't you tell her that? We don't start rushing. You know, from first stack and then, we mm -hmm. used to have one kind of go slow. Mm -hmm. We follow the, when you get to mile two, you, you turn, at, you know. Mm -hmm. By the time we go to school, eh? It was in the night. And that, that was holding this boy's food. Those food. people are wicked. They are wicked. That boy did not eat. He didn't eat throughout. He didn't eat. They now, so when they were not going home, they kept him with, uh, with uh, the regard. The same regard that, that the told same, him not the, the same uh, gate man that said he was not seen. They kept the boy with, without food, without bag. I now quickly took my son back home. I took him back home, I thank God. It was around 10 we got home. Okay. It was around 10. We continued with the school, though. we didn't stop. And here, when we, we now went to the school to find out why they told us mm. he was not in school. One, one, their conscience was worried them. One, mm -hmm. one lady came out and said, uh, 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 I take responsibility. Mm -hmm. I thought Ada followed a boyfriend. boyfriend. I said, boyfriend, my daughter. 
Followed what boyfriend? Boyfriend. Okay, even if I, I followed, even if 10 men came and took me from there, why didn't you call the parents? So say, to say this, to say your, your daughter, daughter, yes, person that brought your daughter, your, your child to school is not here, or she has gone, she has followed man. Why didn't you ah, call the parents? That they thought Ada. What? Because you don't blame them. When Ada was a young guy, she was fine now. Yeah, yeah. As you see her, she was fine now. <laughs> she, she will wear simple dress and people are ah, who is this, who is this person's daughter? Mm. So, out of jealousy, jealousy yeah. the lady said, ah, please, I'm sorry. Uh, I, took, I take responsibility. I, I, I thought. But that, that, thank God, everything is all over. It's all over, yeah. It's all over. Yeah. So. <laughs> uh -huh. Okay, so what's this? Your mom is an amazing person with many more blessings. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so how were you able to come to terms with the situation? Did mm. you did you have to pamper him? Maybe not disciplining him mm. when needed. Mm. I really like more light to be shared. <laughs> Thanks, Adizi, for this. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Because of that, because of his situation, if you remember the story I told mm. I, I told here now. This boy was stooling for most four months. We were using rapper to hold him. In fact, in my entire life, I've never, I, you know, I'd never at, at the point I, I, I got it, I never, I, I had never seen a child like that. In fact, sometimes my, my first son will come to me, mommy, it's my, it's my brother, it's my only brother suffering from, from uh, uh, HIV. HIV yeah. Ah, it's. I said, Nam, where did you hear that one? Eh, why is he so 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 skinny? How, why is he so lean? I remember him being very skinny. He, very lean. Why? I said, nah, I don't know. He's just ill. That's why. He said, okay. It was not easy. Oh, Jesus. I, I would just be looking at him. Sometimes I'll be looking at him. The first time he broke, he broke a, 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 a glass. He, he, he moved and went and broke a glass that was on a, on a, in a stool. Mm. I was dancing. Mm. <laughs> yeah. I was dancing, yes. I said, mm. eh? So my son can break anything. Mm -hmm. Because I didn't know he would have this rent. And fine boy, fine mm. boy. So I I just took it in. in. And mm. I must say something again. <laughs> hey, the love of Christ. Christ held me. Because by 1991, we gave our lives to Christ. And this boy was born in 1992. In fact, this boy was born as a result of prayer points. I wrote it to him as a prayer point. I had my first son and two daughters. I now said, God, let me have another son in 1992. I was not pregnant. So this boy was a prayer answered. So whatever that was happening, I, I had this hope. I, I believe so much in God. I believe so much in, in the uh, uh, efficacy of prayer. I was not praying well. I won't lie to you. And this fact, I believe that that was why I had so much trouble. Because after giving your life to Christ, take Bible and read. Be ready. The enemy is not sleeping. And people kept recommending, go to this prayer house, go to this. I refused. I, I remember that one clearly. I remember what, there was this prayer, prayer house that somebody went to my mother and said, hey, please tell them to, to, to take this boy to so, 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 please. My mother called me. Hey, I said, no. My mother got angry. <laughs> I said, the, and, and told me, hey, the three children you had in uh, 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 Anglican, Anglican, church. Anglican church, they didn't have problem. Oh, we have all this all this all uh, this <laughs> is uh, <laughs> all these churches they have on the road. Mm. They say church everywhere, church everywhere, church. Oka store, all this Oka store. It was when you went to this Oka store that you. You have to uh, say, Mama, listen, thank God, do. the child is my own. I now reminded her about something. I said, this is, if not because of the, pray, of the prayer point, I will not have a boy. And incidentally, my father, in my son, in my husband's house, house, this boy is the second boy in about four generations. Mm -hmm. My husband, the only son, his father, the only son, his grandfather, the only son. And I had Odi, my first son. And this one, second son in about four generations. So what are you talking about? My mother now kept quiet. And that was how we continued. Well, thank God, before my mother died, my mother organized a Thanksgiving service for him in my place at Newey. You know, after that Thanksgiving service, two months, my, father, my, mother, my mother passed. So I thank God that God did not allow me to see shame. He did not allow us to put legs into where, where we are not supposed to do. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So I thank God. Mm -hmm. 
So the person is asking, did you have to pamper him? Maybe not this. Hey, yeah, 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 yes. Because of his situation, mm. I was pampering. In fact, the first day I asked him to do something, he was laughing. <laughs> I said, now bring this one. He was laughing. I said to say, hey, am I part of <laughs> part of <laughs> part of, part of, And then I had so many helps, mm. about three helps and my children. Mm. Uh -uh, am I part of the people that are supposed <laughs> to be what? So I, I was pampering and somebody was telling me, a woman that, that knows somebody that was already about 30 years old. Mm. So the woman was telling me, include this child in everything you are doing. Mm. Include. But I was pitying him. Mm. So I, I didn't do well in that aspect, yeah, I know. Yeah. I didn't do well. Mm. Hey. So, so if you have a child that has special needs, include yes. the child. Don't, include. Don't, don't teach, treat mm. them specially uh, just uh, because they uh, are uh, uh, in uh, something. Uh, send them. Well, once the child, because this spectrum is very vast. Yeah. Once the child can listen, yeah. once the child can do anything, once the child can include him in whatever mm. you are doing. Yeah. Include him. I even recommend, well, even if the child does not hear, even if the child does not do anything, mm. still include him. Yeah. Buy clothes for him. Mm. Anything you do for the other children, do for him. Mm. Let him know that he's a human being. Let him play with them. Let him, yeah. let, Anyhow. Uh, uh -huh. let them play. Mm -hmm. Although it's not easy because he doesn't understand them and they mm. will not understand him. But let them play together. Mm. Mm -hmm. And settle it in your mind, like I told I told you people about mm. training children. Settle it in your mind as the woman that mm. this one is my own. Mm. This child is my child first. Before your husband will put hand. Mm. But I tell you, in this one, my husband did a lot because then the, that that work, that work that was taking him away from home at times, these children, if you ask mm. them, for three days there was a time my children, my my husband was did not see my children for three days. He was pursuing after people mm. that committed fraud and all those. He did not see them. He would just see them while they are sleeping. He would go to work. In the night, they are already uh, uh, back to bed. So I was the only one doing. But this one now that he left the bank. Mm -hmm. And he's now on his own. Uh, we were not making that much. He was not making more, but he didn't bother. Yeah. I, I give it to him. My husband was, I don't know, exceptional, if I may call it that. Yeah. In fact, I don't know, some tribes, I don't know why, why they see autistic children. I, I don't know. Because uh, somebody in my close called me and said, ah, This is your husband, do. Ah, that in, his own, in her own place. So once you have a child like this, you're, you have to go home with your. Your, your child. child. Mm. I, I, I said what? They will send the wife away with they the child. They will send you with your, your, your child to go and take care of yourself and marry another wife. Mm. I said, eh? Ah, oh. it's a pity. My husband never bothered. Even the time he was in school in Abuja, my husband mm. would go from Lagos to Abuja, my boss, mm -hmm. to go and take him. You, she said, thank you for nursing him till this moment. Yes. It's not easy in the Nigerian environment. Hmm. Did you sometimes isolate him from his siblings or he was involved in his siblings' activities? We've answered that one. Yeah, okay. So the next one is, what's your word for a mom whose child is currently diagnosed with autism? Hey, my, my, my word for you is, <laughs> take it up. Mm -hmm. See it as your own, just like what I'm saying. Yeah. See every child as your child first. Mm -hmm. Not my husband do, my husband do. You'll be calculating. My husband, did my husband do this, do that? No. Put your mm. heart in it, they know. Even those children, they realize it, even when they don't talk. Mm. At times, this my son will, after eating, he will come and greet only me. <laughs> Mommy, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much, ma. You say thank you so much and walk away. My mm. husband will be there. I will not call him, Nam, Chima, please come back and there. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, and, uh, yeah, say, oh, daddy, daddy, thank you, sir. <laughs> daddy, thank you, sir. He, he, he will just walk past. Mm. He saw me, everything about me now. If I tell you, take it up. Settle it in your mind that <laughs> this is a work to be done. Just like I said that, what's a mother, always a mother. Settle it in your mind that this one is my own. I'm even his first teacher. Even no, but no teacher will teach him, let me teach him. Yeah. Is this the stigma? Mm -hmm. Is he going to school? Ha! Ah, a lot of things will come up, but it does not matter. Yeah. And be close to God. Be close. If not, how did my son, two times, so that first one he got lost in Lagos was not the first time. First time. Even at home, we went from home for Christmas, we started looking for him, mm. he was much younger. Yeah. How did he come back? After that how did they, uh -oh. how I, did they find him? Mm -hmm. It's God. Mm. That's why I don't look away from God, no matter how. 
Mm. In my own little way, I don't look for pastor. I don't look for anybody that will come and be telling me do this, do that. Bring this, bring that. Bring this, bring that for what? Mm. I put my heart to it that this one is my child. Mm. Uh -huh. In fact, I call him my sunshine. <laughs> Anything he answers. Yeah? The son that God gave me. If you see the way he will be walking, as I'm calling him. You have plenty of pet names for him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> plenty. The son that God gave me. Mm -hmm. Even he's walking, he, he's happy. Mm. He will be smiling. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you are my sunshine, though. Yes, mm. one. Yes, mommy, I'm, I'm your sunshine. <laughs> you will just be walking. Mm. Take that child up. Mm. Don't bother. The, child, the God that gave you that child knows why. Mm. It is even in the Bible. God will not give us what we cannot no handle. handle. If you know me well, I that will tell you now. I'm a very emotional person. If it was before, by now I will be crying. You, I will, mm. you will not hear what I'm saying. But every cry disappeared. Mm -hmm. I took it upon myself. No cry. Who are you crying to? Mm -hmm. I cried in many, many schools because by the time you go to this school and see your child and uh, you start to cry, how, how many times will you cry? Don't mm -hmm. even cry. Follow the word of God. Take that child to the church. It's true that because of their 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 concentration um, level, level mm. they don't like staying in the church too long. Anywhere, sir. Anywhere, they don't like staying. No. Mm. So if you know the time that the child will be not like take him away, but mm. don't hey, don't go and hide your child. Yeah. Many people hide their children. You will know. Mm -hmm. You will know. In the village one day, I saw one big boy walking. I was hey. What happened to this boy? They said ah, nobody knew that the boy existed though, until the mother died. Ay. So when the mother was not there and the father was there, mm -hmm. they had now left the boy. The boy would go to funerals, go to weddings and pick him food to eat. Mm. The boy, each time I saw the boy, no, I was like, I think now they said the boy is late. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what happened to him. So the mother is number one. Don't cry to God. Don't cry. Why did you, God? Why did you give me this? Be happy. Mm -hmm. So take up that, that your child. And God, by the time you take it up, mm -hmm. any responsibility you take up, God mm -hmm. will give you the ability. Yeah. God will give you the. You won't even know when uh, uh, God will give you the ability. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's any, good every other person. Yeah, any intervention, like we said. Yes. Any intervention, diet. Always diet. look into those two things. Yes. Diet. Just, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and if possible, take him abroad. Take your child abroad. Ah. Yeah. Even that abroad. When when Chima was was younger, a, 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 a reverend sister saw him at Ahuja. Mm -hmm. Her reverend sister said, ah, if it was in, in America, that in America, people have, that they have teachers for everybody. Mm -hmm. They have teachers. In, in fact, the, the lady now told me that Chima will not be comfortable in a normal school, mm -hmm. that he will not be comfortable in a special, special school. school. I said, no, no, where does my child belong now? He said, eh, that is just small thing, small, small. Mm -hmm. If you even see him, you know he's yeah, small. He's small. So, take it up, especially food. Mm -hmm. This early intervention is very important. Yeah. I joined one group, they call it a super mom uh, group. One lady saw me, the lady came from UK, saw me, added me. Mm. But at a point, I insisted myself, I removed myself. <laughs> <laughs> because what they discuss there is what I cannot, uh, what, what I cannot even do. Yeah, and most of them have smaller children. Yes. And most of them have the money. They have the money. Mm -hmm. not, even, have... not even smaller children mm. alone, they have the money. They kind of food they are calling. Mm. They kind of, hey, hey, go and get this for this. Mm. Hey, yes, hey, my sister, this one, go and get this. I say, hey, okay. So this is what <laughs> I'll be hearing. And my child already you know, uh, uh, was a very big boy. Mm. I said no. I insisted myself so that I'll not give myself another another pension. another pension, <laughs> pension when they are discussing food and discussing mm. countries and discussing different countries. Yeah, so. trips and all that. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm a super mom, but mm. what? Not in that their mm. group again because I know a super mom is somebody that has the strength. Yeah, <laughs> you have the strength to shoulder whatever that comes to you. That's a mm. super mom. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so you guys, I'm going to divide the video into two. We're going to answer the remaining questions in part two of this video. So just stay tuned and keep on watching. I think that video I'll pop, I'll post it after this one, either the next day or two days after. So just watch out for it for part two of this interesting Q&A with Momsi. <laughs> Hallelujah.